Why not? Let's order it. Hey guys, welcome back to Ryan CD. I'm Ryan Seno. Yeah. So today I'm at Namba Station. I just came back to Osaka from Tokyo and I wanted to check how the town looks like because you know the situation changes. So today I want to check the around the Dotonbori area and also Osaka Station. Yeah, probably you guys are wondering too, right? So anyway, uh, let's keep walking. Oh, by the way, it's really chilly today. Uh, right now it's six degrees, which is not that bad, but a bit windy, so <laughs> feels much cooler. Anyway, let's keep walking and go to check the town. Let's go. So that's the station, and I'm at the corner. You will find the two streets. One is the Nambanankai Street, and also Ebisubashi Street. If you want to go to the Hikakebashi, which is uh, Sorry, it's not the Hikagashi. Sorry, it's uh, the formal name is uh, Ebisubashi, but uh, you know, local people call the Hikagebashi. So if you are heading to Hikagebashi, sorry, no, no, <laughs> Ebisubashi, uh, just keep straight. <laughs> oh, that's something new here. That's the Oshogatsu version of Ebitan. Oh, that's the mascot of Ebisubashi. Wow, I didn't know that we had the character for the this Ebisubashi street. But <laughs> yeah, interesting. <laughs> I see. You know what? It says it's the photo spot, so please do not sit down. I think that's a key. There were so many people sitting down here and taking a rest, and then I think now. They wanted to clean it up because of the restaurant is here, so probably, yeah, they made it here as the photo spot. Oh, look at that! Uh, Yemon, which is the green tea, sells with 58 Japanese yen, which is pretty cheap. Maybe the expiration date is closer, I'm not sure. But usually, drugstore sells the snack with cheaper price, so if you want to find a cheaper price snack, you can come to the drugstore. And that's the most popular cheesecake store in Osaka, Rikuro's Cheesecake. Usually there is a long line, but today seems like no line though. Oh, and in front of Gogo Ichi Horai, there is a meat stall, but now seems like it changes to the Taiwanese drink. Many customers here at Gogo Ichi. Speaking of the numbers, 551 in Japanese, we call that Go, go, ichi. So local people call this place go, go, ichi. Oh, and that's something new too. That's a sweet store. Before we didn't have one. Hmm, interesting. They sell strawberry dessert. Looks pretty good. Also mochi as well. A bit expensive though. And here we go. That's Dotonbori Ebisubashi Bridge. And that's the Dotonbori Food Street. It's about five minutes if there is no crowd. So it's pretty close. Firstly, let's go to check the Greek running man, Ebisubashi Bridge. Well, not so many people in the Dotonbori Ebisubashi Bridge compared to before. And here, it's the really popular spot to take a photo. Rico Running Man. Trust me, this place used to be really hard to take a photo with Greek Running Man without people. But yeah, right now, it seems like it's pretty easy, even though it's Friday now. Oh, I'm pretty sure many people take a photo here when you visit Osaka. Well, maybe if you haven't been to Osaka yet, you guys still wondering why people want to take photo with that Greek running man. I don't know. It's because just a, that's a symbol of Osaka, and then it's a photo spot of Osaka. You know, that's how the photo spot works, right? If you haven't been to Osaka yet, this is the photo spot, I remember. <laughs> anyway, I gotta take photo too. By the way, I have an Instagram account. Please don't forget to check my Instagram account too. And here, we have a beautiful view. 
during the sunset time, it became really beautiful. Also, <laughs> this place is popular for <laughs> jumping to the river. Yeah, well, whatever happens, well, for example, if the local baseball team wins or if Japan wins on the World Cup or whatever it is, people come over here and they jump from this bridge. <laughs> so that's why there is a paper say danger, no diving. Trust me, this river is not clean. It's really dirty, so I don't really get why people jump from here, but uh, yeah, that's a kind of uh, tradition in Osaka. <laughs> yeah, if you come over to here during the Halloween or like some festival period, you will get what I mean. Now let's go to check the Dodonbori food street. It's just right next to the Ebisubashi bridge. Well, seems like not so many people in the street though. Oh, that's Kanidoraku, which is one of the fancy crab restaurants. Prices are expensive. Yeah, fancy restaurant. And there used to be, there are so many lines in front for this stall, but today, not so many people. You know, why not? Let's eat it. Hi. Sweet! Actually, it's my first time to eat it, so let's eat! Alright, so the very first food we eat is a uh, kamimiso, which is the crab butter. Actually, I know, it looks totally weird. So, <laughs> to be honest, it's my first time to eat it. But this year's goal is trying new things. So even this is a bit weird and expensive, I will do it. Yep, always go big. <laughs> anyway, let's eat. Itadakimasu. Oh my goodness, look at that. Crab butter. <laughs> Itadakimasu. <laughs> well, it's very interesting. Actually, it's not that bad, but for me, it's okay. I think it's perfect with beer because the taste is like a little bit bitter, and then after the bitterness comes the seafood flavor. Mm. Oh, wait. Or maybe second bite tastes better. Well, somehow in the second bite doesn't taste like bitterness much. Maybe the first bite more bitter, the second bite more crab flavor. Smoke up me. Mm, yeah. For the first bite, I kind of feel weird and then bitter. The second bite, it's mild. For the third bite, seafood flavor with crab flavor. If I'm thinking about eating the crab brain, <laughs> uh, hmm, but uh, yeah, interesting. Well, definitely, it's a new experience for me. Hmm. Mm. Well, I don't know. Maybe I like it. <laughs> well, next time I wanna eat this with beer. By the way, you don't feel like I'm eating crab right now, but uh, if I place it like this. <laughs> yes, that's a crab. All right, it was a good crab. So let's keep walking. There is a trash can right next to this stall. Good to see you. By the way, they have nice bento too. Seems like it's sushi. Looks pretty good. So those are the prices. Yeah, a bit expensive. Maybe I can come back here for some special occasion. Oh wait, this place used to be Hawaiian coffee, but right now it's a Hoshino coffee. Well, speaking of Hoshino coffee, it's really good. The coffee, good price, and then the food, big. And the atmosphere inside is pretty good too, so yeah, it's a really popular chain coffee restaurant in Japan now. And also, 
Wow, the other thing surprised me is this place. This place used to be a Forever 21 and then after that, it became a souvenir store. And then now, it changes again. I'm not sure what will be here for the next, but uh, yeah, the souvenir store without travelers definitely can't pay this expensive rent. Anyway, let's see what will we have here. Oh nice, those are something never change. It's a Kuidaure souvenir stores and also here, Mameshiba Cafe. I've never been there yet though, but uh, yeah, one day I want to visit there. And unfortunately, this Konamo Museum and uh, popular takoyaki store, Juhachiban, no people waiting. <laughs> Another Osaka is simple. It's a Kui Daore Taro. Or Jiro. Or I forgot his name. <laughs> now, feels definitely I came back to Osaka. <laughs> to be honest. I was born and raised in Osaka when I was a student. I didn't really care about him though. Good job. <laughs> Let's keep walking. And in front of Kui Daore. There's a Kushikatsu Daruma. <laughs> that angry man is also the Osaka symbol. In the Shinsekai one, the angry man's eyes will be shine. But uh, this one, hmm, never moves. Oh, and also, of course, we have to check the Hozenji Yokocho too. This tiny street takes you to the Hidden Street. Whenever I come over here, feels like I'm in Japan. Well, I always be in Japan though, but uh, this place, you know, Japan. And after I pass that street, there is a tiny alley, and uh, we have to turn left here. That's the Hosenji. Well, before the pandemic, I always see the people making line for praying this temple, but now seems like not so many people here. I believe still local people come over here to pray, however, uh, definitely not many as before. There is a cat! Oh, seems like he's busy. <laughs> anyway, let's go back. And here we go, we came back to the Dotonbori food street. And here is the clay oil and uh, also Kindu ramen store. No customers though. Oh, uh, I think this is something new. Before, I think that's a food stall, but right now, seems like it's a Matsuri store. Wow, look at that! <laughs> That's something new too. Right now, we have Kura. We didn't have the Kura at Dotonbori before. We had to go to Shinsekai to eat Kura. Well, price is 125 Japanese yen per plate. So it's not 100 Japanese yen. However, I think that's good enough. Definitely. And next to the Kura, there is a bridge. This is my favorite spot to check the sunset. If you want to take photo, this is the best place to take photo. So right now, heading back to the Ebisubashi Bridge and uh, also heading to the Shinsaibashi and we will catch the train and going to the Osaka Station. By the way, this is Don Quixote in the Shinsaibashi. Yeah, now really few customers. And the Ferris wheel here too. The Ferris wheel, I'm talking about that one over there. Well, I made a video about two years ago, so please check that video. Oh, uh, this street became really, really quiet. Used to be really popular street though. Oh, look at this. It's a kinako condensed milk, which I've never tried at. Well, condensed milk with kinako, it must be good. Why not? Let's order it. Kinako no kuroku desu. 
一ついただきますか。So the price is 500 Japanese yen. Oh, looks pretty good. Nice. Ah, すみません、ありがとうございます。いただきます。By the way, in front of the store, there's a table. <laughs> All right, look at this. Wow, it looks pretty good. And、uh, <laughs> it smells like a kinako. Yeah, kinako is one of my favorite mochi flavors. Have you guys tried a kinako? Kinako is the soybean powder, and this one. Oh, <laughs> excuse me.、Uh, and this one called the kurapo, which I've never heard. I believe that's the mixed word with croissant and the waffle. Interesting. Anyway, let me try it. Itadakimasu. Mmm, oishi. Basically, it's the waffle. It's not like super fluffy. It's harder waffle, and on top of it, there is a whipped cream and then the kinako powder. <laughs> it's my first time to try that, but I didn't know it matches. And then that's interesting. Loving it. <laughs> well, if you are wearing something black, maybe kinako powder. It's not really a good choice, but it tastes so good though. <laughs> you know, trying to clean up the table. Well, it was pretty good and easy to eat. <laughs> However, if you want to order the kinako powder,、uh, don't wear this something the you know black jacket or black shirts because the powder will be visible. But overall, I like it. Well, anyway, let's go to the Shinsaibashi Station. So let's go. Ah, thank you. 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 Let's go to the Shinsaibashi Station. Let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh, that's the samurai mug that I couldn't eat because of the misorder. The last time I ate this when I come back to Osaka, but the next time, definitely, I will eat this bacon one. Looks good. And the Shinsaibashi side, there is Uniqlo and the GU. This station is almost there. When you get to this street, if you turn left here, there is the Apple Store and also American Village. And here we go. That corner, it's already Shinsaibashi Station. Oh, look at that, <laughs> Pikachu. I'm not sure what kind of advertisement it is, but.、Uh, Oh, I see. It's the Pokemon Cafe advertisement. Well, when I was a student, I usually shop around the Nambaside area. Anyway, subway station is just over there, so、uh, let's take the subway. So basically, from Namba Station to Shinsaiba Station, it's not that far. About the one station away distance, but from Shinsaiba Station to Osaka Station, yeah. Technically, you can walk, but、uh, it will take time. So I think you'd better take a train if you want to visit the Osaka from Shinsaibashi. Here we go. We will use the Mido Suji line. All right. So let's go. By the way, recently in Japan, we have the restroom sign. For male and the female bowing, it does look Japan. Yo okoshi, meaning welcome. So from Shinsaiba Station to Osaka Station, which is Umeda Station, it's about three stations away. It takes seven minutes. Here we go. We arrived to Umeda Station. It's one of the biggest station in Osaka. It's almost 4 p.m. I believe Umeda Station will be packed. By the way, I had many questions that how I pay by the train. 
Uh, actually, it's the Apple Watch. Well, if you buy the Suica, which is the train IC card, and you download the app, you can pay it with the Apple Watch. So it's really simple. So yeah, next time if you come over to Japan, yeah, use the train IC card. It's really useful. And if you use the Apple Watch, just use the Apple Watch. And here, this place, more looks like Osaka Station. And that's the most popular street. But somehow, whenever Japan news show the how crowded the Osaka Station is, they usually show this street from over there. So, oh uh, yeah, let me show you guys the view. Just going up. I think this street is because breaching the different lines so I guess most of people use this street especially for salamans maybe <laughs> but maybe not who knows and here we go oh now I know why maybe because this angle is beautiful <laughs> maybe doesn't make sense. If someone knows the reason why, please comment down below and let me know. Uh, anyway, it's 4-2. Uh, time of the sunset is almost there. So let's go to the sky garden. I think we can see the beautiful sunset from there. So let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh, by the way, in Osaka Station, if you go in up, you will see the popular square of Osaka Station, but if you're going down, there is a public piano. Let me show you guys. You know, someone used to play here though, but uh, now, no one. Well, but you know what? During the state of emergency, we couldn't use it, but seems like now, we can play that. Well, I used to play the piano, but now I haven't played for a while, so maybe next time after I practice more. Let me close it. And on the top floor, there is a beautiful garden. Yep, just going up. By the way, as you realize, in Osaka, usually people stay in right side and then walk left side. It's opposite compared to Tokyo. And yes, we're still going up more. And here, called Toki no Hiroba, during the sunset time, really peaceful. I love the view. Beautiful. And after this escalator, there will be this square. <laughs> Look at that. It's a long escalator. And here we go. We can already see the beautiful view from here, but we can go in up higher this way. After past this Kaze no Hiroba, the entrance is just there. Hope it's open though. Oh no! Well, from here, we can go in up by stairs and we can see the better view because it's a much higher place. However, it's closed due to the strong wind. Tenko furyo no tame. Tenko furyo no tame, meaning, you know, due to the bad weather. Never mind. Uh, let me see the view from here. It's beautiful. But uh, we can't see the sunset though. Oh, maybe here. I can shoot the sunset time lapse. Well, from here, I think I can take the interesting time lapse. So let me try that. 
Ooh, outside gets pretty dark. Well, this place is really cold, so let me get into the building. Actually, today I took the time lapse by two versions. One with this my cam, which is the FX3, and the other one is the Osmo Pocket. I will post the time lapse at the very end of the video, so yes, please don't forget to check that. Anyway, it's cold, so let me enter the building. It's Grand Front Osaka. Well, inside the shopping mall, much warmer. And back to the Kaze no Hiroba. Ooh, tonight it's really cold. <laughs> Really, still 5 degrees feels like much lower, I think because of the wind. Well, this place is kind of cold, but I can see the really beautiful night town though. Well, hopefully you guys could see how the Osaka town looks like as of 2022 January. And big thank you for the Patreons because of you guys' support, I can keep shooting videos. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. Arigato! Ooh, it's freezing. <laughs> After this, you will see the two different kinds of time lapse. Please let me know which one you like in the comment section so that I can know which one to use for the future video. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy traveling to Japan through this video. So see you in the next video. Seeno, go. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye.